Callaloo, a jazz folktale by Marjuan Kennedy, illustrated by Nabi Bilal. On one hot New York City summer day, Winston ate a bowl of his favorite dish, Callaloo. Winston's eyes were always bigger than his tummy, but there was just something magical about his auntie's callaloo. It was a family recipe passed down from Winston's grandmother to his auntie. Winston said his auntie, "What you got a belly of a goat? You ate all the callaloo." Go down to the roti shop on Flatbush Avenue and pick me up some more dashing. Winston walked to the subway. Delicioso, compra una icy. Delicious, buy an icy! Shouted the icy lady. Barked Cosmo, the neighborhood dog. While devouring two cocoa icies, Winston heard a whisper. He looked to his left, to his right, and to his back. Where did that voice come from? Thought Winston. He shrugged, then hopped on the train and headed to the roti shop. Sitting patiently, Winston gazed out the subway window. His little eyes grew big. Where did all the familiar city buildings disappear to? He thought, for he was no longer in New York, but now on the quaint Caribbean island of Tobago. Winston loved Tobago. He often daydreamed about bathing in the crystal clear water, devouring morning doubles, and listening to his wise grandmother's stories. He loved Tobago. Even more than ices and callaloo, he could hear his grandmother calling him. Winston said, "Grandmother, the sun is almost set. Go down to the river over so and bring me two crab. Me need it for me callaloo." As he approached the river, Winston thought, "Wow." Look at all these crabs! My grandmother can cook them all for me. I'll bring back four instead of two. Suddenly, a menacing shadow appeared through the trees. Little boy, why are you stealing from my forest? Bellowed Papa Bois. Peacekeeper and protector of all the animals in the forest. Winston ran off before Papa Bois could utter another word. The day grew to night. As Winston stopped to catch his breath, he saw a man covered in black paint. As the man inched closer to him, he noticed his curly fingernails and hairy face. A werewolf! cried Winston. It was Alaga Who. How the Alaga Who? Frightened, Winston took off into the night. Running faster and faster towards a flickering light in the distance. Under that light sat a group of men, linemen. Help! Help! A lago who is after me! Shouted Winston. <laughs> Boy, calm yourself. You must have dog yampy in the eye. Laughed one man. As the men laughed, Winston noticed the figure of a beautiful woman walking alone. "Excuse me, gentlemen," interrupted Winston. "That woman over there seems to be lost." "Stay a 
away from she, screamed the man. She a large a bless. Look at your cow hoof. Winston stopped dead in his tracks. Don't stare at she, yelled another man. Winston and the men hid their faces, but they could still hear the thumping of her cow hoof inching closer and closer and closer until... Poof! She was gone. The eldest man stared deep into Winston's eyes and said, You are bad luck, little boy. Get from here, now. Nah. As Winston ran off, he came to a fork in the road. He looked to his left, to his right, and to his back. He was lost. His gut told him to go right, but the more he walked, the more he grew tired. What is that? said Winston. Covering his eyes and ears, he heard a screeching hiss, followed by a blinding flash in the night sky. It was a Sukuya, an old lady by day, but vampire by night. Pain struck his little arms. His body grew weak and his tummy turned sick. His arm had turned black and blue. The Sukuya had chucked him. Winston was so sick, he fell into a deep sleep. By morning, he woke on the grainy beach sand to find his arm had magically healed. Gazing at his reflection in the ocean, he saw a woman staring back at him. It was Mama Glo, wife of Papa Bois and protector of all the sea animals. <laughs> Winston! snickered Mama Glo. Your greed troubles me. I'm sorry, pleaded Winston. You were sent to me to learn a lesson. Now, if you return my crabs, I'll remove the spell that was placed on you. If not, you will suffer the consequences. <laughs> Winston obeyed and returned her crabs. One by one, the crabs swam to Mama Glo, splashing around their queen. Just like that, the spell was broken. Mama Glo magically returned Winston back to his grandmother. Winston's grandmother was vexed that he had returned with no crabs. Winston, what is this? What will we eat with our kalalu? said grandmother. Very well. Go out to my garden over so and get me one bushel of dashing boy. No more, no less. As Winston walked to his grandmother's garden to pick the dashing, he heard a familiar whisper. Winston! Winston! He saw two backwards feet and a mushroom head poking out of the bushes. It was a duen. Winston! I'll give you more dashing if you play with me said the duen. But he remembered Mama Glow's words and Grandmother's request. So without hesitation, he ran as fast as he could back home 
He ran and ran and ran. He ran so fast that he ran right into Irene's roti shop on Flatbush Avenue. That night, Winston and his auntie ate a delicious Callaloo dinner with some authentic Caribbean dashi, and he never again asked for more than he needed. Something magical lay within that Callaloo. The end.